ever been on a website and when you click on a button to email someone or contact them, well, it opens up your email. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now in Squarespace. There is a very simple process to do that. They've made it very easy and they've actually included a few extra features that can complicate it, but also give you variety and additional options, which could be cool. So I'm on this demo website and I am gonna click edit to begin. And once I'm in the page here, we're gonna add it to the footer in this example. So I'm gonna click edit footer. So I'm gonna start with text and then I'm gonna show you how to add it as a button as well. But let's begin with text. So I'm gonna write email us and then do this. It could say email us, it can say the actual email. So for example, if that's the email, you could use that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna highlight this or highlight whatever you wanna make the link. And then I'm gonna click this button here where it says link. And as soon as I click on that, it shows this, which is like, what do I do now? Well, if you click on the settings wheel, voila, there's magic here. So once you click into this, you'll see there's a lot of different options and it actually starts with email in this case. So you can say to subject body CC BCC. This is a lot, which obviously is wonderful, but I would also say don't overcomplicate it if you don't need it. So you don't necessarily have to write a subject. You could leave that blank. You could also leave the body blank and CC and BC, BCC. All you need to do is add, where is this email going? This is the most important point. So if I add in this email here, you're good to go. So this is where the email is gonna go. I'm gonna click save. Let me show you something. What this has done is created this. This is the link, which is mail to colon, then the email. Now, if you use other features like the subject and CC, BCC, all that, it'll do other things. But as you can see here, it's actually quite simple. So if you copy this, you could use this on your site anywhere as a link to open up your email. As long as it says mail to colon and then the specific email you want to send it to, this will trigger someone's email to open, whether on their desktop or mobile device so that they can send you a message. So I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm gonna click apply. Then I'm gonna zoom out and you'll see here it is set up. So I know it's set up because when I hover over it, the cursor changes and also it's underlined. Now, let's say you wanna do that with a button. So let me just go back into the page editor here. I made this button earlier for a separate video, which is to call, but let's add another button here. And this button is gonna be email us. And then here I could paste this link. I have it from before, it's the mail to, which goes to direct email, but I'm just gonna get rid of it and do the same process again so you can see it. So as soon as I go in here, you'll see email is actually a little bit lower on the list. I'll click on that. And then you'll just add the email here, that's it and then click save and you're good to go. So that is now set up in the same way. Finally, you could also do this in the main navigation. So if I hit edit site header, I wanna change the button. Well, what I could do is go to elements and then do email us and then click on this little gear wheel again and go to email and then paste the email here. Just like that, you could see I've added it to different parts of my website. It's really easy, it's really user-friendly. Anywhere you could add a hyperlink, you could add an email. Final thing I wanna show is I'm gonna click save. Let's say you have a folder here and you wanna add an email option, all right? So I'm gonna to go to pages and then I'm gonna add it to this folder here. So I'm gonna hit add page, which is interesting that it says page, but it gives you all these options. And I'm actually gonna add the link. So as soon as I add that, I'm gonna put email us. And then again, this little gear wheel is magic. You could drop the email here and then click save and then click save. And now you've just added a link. So as soon as someone comes in here and they click on this, it will open up their email browser. And so as you could see, as soon as I clicked on it, it opened my email browser and opened up the email. And so you could test this on your website as you are working through this. This should work for desktop and mobile for your website for your devices. Again, you don't need to get too complicated with subject, BCC, CC, all of that because you start to assume a lot for the person contacting you. But if you want to add in a little note or any starting information, it's a great way to get the message going. Final note on this, if you are building for a website for the first time, I recommend using the Squarespace form, the built-in form that looks like this here for contact because 
it allows you to track the experience a lot better and also request information that you need. So if I send an email, I could just say, hey, I need help. And only thing I get back is an email. But if I want a phone number or really need a phone number to contact the person I may work with or whatever that is, or you just need more information, well, you could guide it a lot better with a form. Also, you could track it a lot better with the forms. So when it comes to Google Analytics or setting up goals in your Google ads or any type of ad campaign, it makes it a lot easier to track a form on your page. I recommend the email button if you're including your email as an additional option for people to contact you. And if you're say a portfolio or a creative, usually creatives or people who could get message for various kinds of projects use an email option like this, where it pops up with something like this. Hey, thank you for watching this video. If you got value from this video, hit that like button. When you hit that like button, it tells the YouTube algorithm some important information, but it also lets me know that you got value from this video. And if you did get value from this video and you want more content just like this, consider subscribing. We publish new videos every single week. Friday at 1 p.m. we post a new video, if not multiple videos throughout the week. If you have any questions, drop a comment below, but I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.